it has already been four months since I made this natural ecosphere and there's more life than there has ever been in this jar. So it is time for another update. The most noticeable thing is that the water looks very dirty. The water is actually crystal clear, but the glass is covered in brownish dots of algae. There's not that much I can do about it, because this jar has to stay closed. As I said before, there is more life than ever in this ecosphere. Which also means some species have returned, such as these nematodes, aka the booby worms. There were a few clam shrimp in here before, but then they disappeared. Now they have returned and there's a crazy amount of them, dozens and dozens. I'm not sure what caused them to return, but it might be the fact that it's getting summer. The longer days and warmer water may trigger previously laid eggs to hatch. The planarians have risen in numbers as well. When I was filming this young planarian, I also noticed a super small worm. The way these clam shrimp move makes them one of my favorite crustaceans. The ostracots are absolutely swarming around the top of the water. There's also still a bunch of snails in this ecosphere, which are without a doubt bladder snails. One of the more interesting facts about bladder snails is that they have shells that spiral to the left, which is something that's very rare in the snail world. I find it quite interesting that these relatively large animals are doing so well for months in this closed ecosystem. Let's be honest, this baby snail is pretty cute. It is not very photogenic though. The amount of ostracots in this ecosphere is staggering. There's hundreds of them in here. While I was still amazed by the sheer amount of ostracots that live here, I made another macro lens discovery. I saw a super tiny worm which I believe is a species of detritus worm, which is a hermaphroditic animal, just like the bladder snails. It really is a shame that the glass is so dirty, because it makes filming really hard, but another pair of boogie worms is still clearly visible. I've seen bladder snails climb out of the water before, which could indicate they don't like the water quality. If that's the case, then that's too bad for them, because they can't leave. Suddenly, one snail found itself taxiing the other snail around the ecosphere. I also noticed this underground worm, but I'm not entirely sure what it is. This might actually be an albino clam shrimp. Swimming above this pit of little nematodes which are moving faster than I have ever seen nematodes move. In four months, some species have disappeared, reappeared and entirely new species have appeared. This natural ecosphere is completely full of life. That's about it for this video, if you want to see more updates and other projects, well, you're going to have to subscribe. Thanks for watching.